shot our whiskey or something. Excitement's building. 40 seconds. 40? It's on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I've got a cramp in this leg. Oh, my. Uh. It's going to be a big year. Lots of digging on the cards, I think. <laughs> 20 20. seconds. You know what the ironic thing is? They're probably like 15k away, they're all in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, six, five. Two, one. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Have <laughs> <laughs> you ever made any resolutions? Nah. I think if you want to do something, I'll do it. Yeah, that was always my thing. I've very few resolutions come off, I think. Probably. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Showing my family how I spent New Year's eating cheese in the tent. It's not bad. Happy fucking New Year. I had the worst New Year's. <laughs> Welcome back to day number five of our Halley expedition. This is site number seven. This is where we camped. We just spent the morning of New Year's Day raising it and we have another one to visit today. And then after that, we'll be heading back tomorrow. So very excited for that to get some like instant tea and hot water. Oh, can't wait. So just gonna do a quick LRAD test to make sure the data is being sent to Halley properly. And then we'll be on to the next site. Halley comms, Halley comms, sledge mic. Hiya, can you ask James to perform an Alrad test, please? Uh, break, break, James, and then ready for the Alrad test. He says that's a successful test on directional one. Great, thank you very much. We have a solar panel here and a wind turbine. These both connect to this box here. Now this box is called a dump box. Now what this does is if there's too much energy coming through, if the wind is too strong, it just shorts it through a, a resistor to get rid of the excess energy as heat so it doesn't damage the batteries. Um, it then passes through this cable into the enclosure and then from the enclosure just loops straight back down to these battery boxes down here. So this is the GPS antenna and that is the 900 megahertz antenna which pings back to station the data. These two need to be kept in the same location. GPS for the data, the GPS needs to be exactly in the same location so uh, you have continuity from year to year. And this needs to be in the same position because it's bearing is pointing towards the station back there. So we keep this line here, we raise them up, we keep them in the same spot and we move everything on here. So the enclosure, the wind turbine and the battery boxes, we're gonna move to there. So as you see, we've already dug hole for the batteries here. <laughs> We've got a nice hole going on. The enclosure will go here, the wind turbine will go there and then it'll connect in a square like this again. So I bet some of you are wondering how do we keep these stations powered throughout winter and we do that with these battery boxes. We have two battery boxes, each with two marine gel lead acid batteries. They're gel batteries so they don't outgas when they're being charged. They're charged via a solar panel and a wind turbine. The solar panel keeps the batteries topped up to around 13 and a half volts during summer, but during winter, the wind turbine takes over. All we need are two storms and there's enough power generated by the wind turbine to bump the batteries up to full charge, which then carries it through to the next summer and then the solar panels take over and the station can keep going indefinitely from that. Yeah, that's hot water in there. Ah. Yeah. Let's grab the tea and then go and chat to these guys. Okay. Uh, in the mug. The tea is lovely. And the brush as well. Do you want Nido? Yeah, I don't think so. 
probably been defrosted and <laughs> refrozen about ten times in the last uh, week or so. Shay Taff. So after a week in the field, having nothing but ration packs, Taff decided to surprise us with some sausages and mash, which was lovely. Um, we decided to have a bit of a party because it was our last day and it's New Year's Day. So we broke out the whiskey and we're back to Halley tomorrow, which we're all looking forward to. I can't wait to have instant hot water to make tea. I think that's the one thing that I've really struggled with here. Just got back from our trip. Oh, it was uh, five nights, seven days in the field. Is that what? Five nights, six days in the field. A lot of uh, digging. It was solid digging every day. My body is broken. Oh, God. You can tell I caught the sun a bit. Look at that. Goggle lines. Yeah, you can tell I caught the sun a bit. Healing, tan line, got burnt there, burnt there. Yeah, feeling a little worse for wear. But. So we got three LOH sites raised, which was good. We got uh, three sites and we lit raised an AP res as well. 800 kilograms worth of batch boxes we raised non stop. So waking up at six, coming back at eight, having ration packed dinners. I've lost some weight. So we spent New Year's in the field. Um, we had a lot of whiskey. It was pretty good. The, uh, the whole experience was really nice, actually. We uh, sheepskin rug in an old uh, pyramid tent. It was, it was great fun. Um, tomorrow I get a day off. So my first day off in ten days, twelve days. I'm really excited about. We've done a lot. We've done a lot. We worked hard. So, yeah, so first day off in 10 days, probably spend it fault finding on some of this, uh, some of this equipment, but at least we have warm coffee, hot tea, and biscuits at our hat disposal, and we're not freezing our arse off. Yeah, so I'm quite sunburnt. Put a lot of sunscreen on, but you wipe your nose and the sun cream goes and you get burnt and uh, your snow's always sticking out and all the snow reflects upwards and gets you all burnt around there. Yeah, I've got a lot of uh, grime on me right now. I need to go have a shower. 